Guy here. Thanks for joining me back at the awesome Muscanet Kong River here in Asbury. Today we're going to go on an exciting river exploration together. I'm going to show you how you can do this at home in any river or stream nearby your house. Okay. So we only need a couple of things. We're going to need a bucket right, to put some water in. I like to have a little smaller tin. Right, This one I got with my Chinese food. Right, And a net. Right, That's all we need. Right. And we're just going to see what we find. Right? So I'm going to start by putting some water in my big bucket here so that I can put all of my things I find in some water. You don't need too much water. All right. I only filled this about halfway. And the next thing you have to do is you just have to look around and see what you can find. Right? Use your net. Okay. Now, I know we all think of fish and turtles as being big river creatures, right? And they are, they live in the river. But most of the stuff you're gonna find living in the river are teeny tiny, all right, little bugs that hide on the rocks and in the bottom of the river. So that's where we wanna focus most of our time looking, all right? So we're gonna use our net, turn over rocks, and see what we can find, all right? So stick our net in the water, all right? We move our feet around a little bit. See, get things floating around. Put our hand in there. All right. Get our net all good. Okay. It's important. You want to do this in a stretch of the river where there are lots of rocks, right? And the water is moving fast. As you can see, it's it's moving behind me, right? And then now that we've done that, we want to take a look, see what we find in our net. Okay. So you see here, I have a lot of rocks and shells, and let's see what we can find. Cool. See? Found some things. I found some clams. Alright, they live in the river. I'm gonna put them in our bucket. Alright. It's got lots of rocks here. Oh, look, look. You got something crawling right here. Let's see if I can get them. Oh, right here. See this guy right here. Him right here. This is called a stone fly. Right? So it's a macro invertebrate, and macro invertebrates are very important because they can actually tell us a lot about the health of a river or stream. So a stone fly belongs to what we call the group one macro invertebrates, right? And they let us know that the water is pretty healthy because these organisms that live in group one, they don't like polluted water. So if we find them in our river or stream, we know that our river is pretty healthy. Right, so I'm going to put him in our bucket so we can look at him later. Okay. Now I'm just going to do some more exploring, right? And I want you to do the same. Every once in a while, take your net and bring it back to your bucket.
All right, so I'm looking at my bucket here and we have some pretty cool things. So why don't you guys come and join me? And All right, so here we have our bucket. All right, and I'm gonna put some water in this, all right? All right, so I'm at our bucket here and we have some pretty cool things in here, all right? So remember earlier I showed you the stone fly, right? And that was a little tiny one, but I've got some bigger ones here. Ooh, let's see if I can get them. Oh yeah, see here? This is a stone fly, right? And remember they belong to that group one taxa and they're indicators of good water quality. So I'm gonna put him in our little bucket. So here we have our stone fly and a really easy way to identify what a stone fly is is to count his number of legs. So as you can see, our stone fly here has six legs, right? He also has two tails, right? You can see the one on the right there is a little bit cut off, right? He has two antennae and he has a hard exoskeleton. All right, so this is a stone fly. All right, we also had in our bucket one of my favorite creatures. Let's see if I can find him again. Ah, yes, this guy. This is a crane fly. All right, crane fly larva. All right, so the crane fly belongs to group two taxa. All right, now group two taxa, they can handle a little bit of pollution. But just because we find it doesn't mean the water is polluted. They love to live in clean water as well. All right, and this guy's pretty cool. Watch him swim. All right. And get him to do a little dance. I think he needs a little bit more water. Oh, there he goes. Look at him go! All right. So do we have anything else interesting? in our bucket. Ooh, this guy right here. Right here. This guy. So it looks very similar. Ooh, the crane fly wants to come in to the stone fly that we had in our bucket earlier, that guy. All right, but he's a little different, all right? Most notably, in this stage of its life, this mayfly has three tails, all right? And if you zoom in closely, you can actually see these little feather-like appendages on its side. Ooh, gotta catch him again. Ooh, he's hitching a ride, right? So those feather-like appendages are actually its gills. So that is how it is breathing. Right, so it is its gills on the outside of its body. Can you imagine having your lungs on the outside of your body? We got a lot going on in this jar. Let me take the crane fly out so we can calm things down a little bit. Where did he go? Where's our mayfly? Well, we'll find him a little bit later. And I see on the side of the bucket here another thing. This guy. This is a scud, a little shrimp-like creature. Right? Also belongs to group two taxa, but remember, it's okay that we're finding group two, right? As long as we're also finding the group one, like the mayfly and the stonefly, right? What's cool about the scud is if you watch him swim long enough, he actually, he's really fast, boy. All right, he actually swims. Where did he go? Oh, he's under them. He swims on his side. All right, he looks like a little shrimp. All right, and then, let's see what else we have in here. Well, looking at our bucket, we have a bunch of clams. Clams in our bucket. A lot of rocks. Ooh, and this right here, this thing, this is a pretty cool thing. He's on his back now. All right, but this, this is a caddis fly. All right, caddis fly. There's many, many different types of caddis flies. There's the free living, there's the net spinning, right, casement building, right, caddis flies. All right, and they belong to group one taxa. Indicators of clean water quality. Right. He has six legs and like a worm like body. And he's just rolling around down there, just rolling around. What do we have here? Oh, this guy. So 
the riffle beetle, right? It's a beetle that likes to live in the riffles, and the riffles are what we are the, the fast moving areas of the water. Right? Also belongs to group one taxa. And so we have our riffle beetle here swimming along. Let's see if we can find one of my favorite creatures of all time. Right? And that would be. Ooh, look at this. This is the another caddisfly here. Alright. Living on a rock. Alright, that's where you're gonna find most of these things. Living on rocks. So if you're out there, oh look at this. Look at this. Look at that stonefly. Cool. And do you guys remember what group stoneflies belong to? They're that group one taxa. Mm. What else do we have in here? Well, I see another mayfly in there and a bunch more stone flies. All right. And then we have our crane fly hiding over here. Our crane fly is hiding. All right. I'm not seeing my favorite creature, so I may go back out and take another look and see if I can find him. All right. Although I say my favorite. They're really all my favorites. All right. It's just so interesting that they can tell you so much about the water quality just by looking at the bugs that are living in there, right? Just bugs that are living in this river, this beautiful Muscanet Kong River here in Asbury. All right, right downstream from the old Asbury mill that we're currently restoring. All right, it's a great spot. All right, soon it'll be a park and open to the public. All right, so I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna go see if I can find my one of my favorites and then we'll be back, okay? All right, I'm back. I wasn't able to find the water penny, which is what I was really looking for. But what I did find was this snail right here, right? And in the river, we have a couple different types of snails. The two main ones we, you'll find in a river like the Muscanetcong are what we call the guild snail, and I call it the lung snail. Sometimes it's called the pouch snail, right? But so this is the guild snail right here, right? And easy way to tell if you have a guild snail or not, right, is if you hold it, with the top, the pointy end of the snail hold facing the sky, all right, and the opening facing you, all right, so I'm holding it like that, all right, or if we hold this facing you just like this. If the opening is on the right, you have a guild snail. If it were to open on the left, oh, this is also a guild snail because it is also opening on the right, but if it were to open on the left, it would be the other type of snail, right, our guild snail or our our pouch, our lung snail or our pouch snail, right? Guild snails belong to group one, right? Which are indicators of a healthy stream. And the other snail belongs to group three, right? Because they use their lungs, so they're not breathing um, what is in the water, right? They're breathing the air like you and I do, right? So they can live in, in any kind of water. So they're not necessarily an indicator of a healthy stream, right? But we found lots of cool stuff today on our stream exploration, right? And everything we're finding is leading me to believe that this stretch of the Muscanet Kong River here is a pretty healthy stream because we have a lot of group one organisms, right? We have a couple of groups two and three, but remember, that's okay as long as we're finding those group one organisms as well, right? So I hope you had fun exploring the river with me, right? And remember, you can do this if you're um, at any river or stream near you, right? And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Right? Or visit our website at www.muskinetcong.org. Right? Have a great day. Go explore the river. Yeah.